Well, my shows you know, around the planet for the last 25 years have been very monological in a sense, so to be on the receiving end of it, listening to it, I'm a sobbing mess. <laughs> and I have objectivity for the first time, so I'm really moved deeply. I love it because it's a story about our humanity and all these parts of ourselves. We're so multitudinous as humans that it's all these different parts embodied by these characters that were pulled from the songs according to Diablo Cody as she was writing it. So uh, it's like watching my own autobiographical story couched in this incredible story that has some elements that I can't relate to, like adoption and such, but for the most part, every character I really relate to in a deep way. I can't wait. I live to play live. So uh, to be with Shirley and to be with Liz Fair and just go around this funny country. Now obviously <laughs> it's the whole album. You ought to know. Do we have a person for that? Is we don't, but we have a lot of people taking credit for it. <laughs> Which I don't entirely understand because I'm not sure I would be the one taking credit for the, being the fodder for that song. <laughs> I really just let the album lead me in a creative direction. I listened to Jagged Little Pill over and over again, obviously, and I would listen to songs like Mary Jane and think, okay, the protagonist of this show is Mary Jane. Or I would listen to a song like Perfect and I would think, okay, well, here's a character that's a perfectionist. And it's, so the characters just kind of emerged from the lyrics. How does it feel to be like a role model? Because so many young women look up to you. I can't believe that. I mean, I... I <laughs> I could, I could cry right now when you say that. I, it's something that I forget about because I tend to get into my own head and you know just focus on the work and it's that is amazing. I mean, I hope they're inspired to go out and change the world and whether that's their... I feel Alanis Morissette was ahead of her time and so the world just caught up with her and right now we have uh, this beautiful musical with an original book by Diablo Cody that tells a story of a family in America struggling, living, learning, and they do it to all the songs that Alanis gave, gave us 25 years ago. It feels like chills running up and down my spine, I can tell you that. It feels like I want to jump out of my seat at various times in the show. That's how much I love what they've accomplished. I had never had any dream that something like this could grow out of the work that we did, like you say, a quarter of a century ago. Well, I'm, I'm probably a thousand times more excited to see this show because our little girl's in it. And uh, Catherine is playing the part of Bella and we're just so thrilled to see her opening night and for her to be part of this extraordinary production. In the same theater I did Long Day's Journey in tonight Amazing, when right? I was just a couple of years older than she was. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. He's, um... You know what, he gets far more nervous than I do. I he's, oh my God, I thought I just saw him there, but it's my manager. No, he's, you know what, my dad has been in the audience for every performance I've ever done. He's the most supportive man in the world. And he flew on a red eye to come see this. I feel so lucky. No, it's the exact opposite. Having her there gives me such a feeling of confidence and like my mom, in her eyes, no matter what I do, I'm gonna be fine. So as long as I have her there, it gives me that feeling of like, I can't mess up. I love her so much. She also said that your dad was looking down. How did that yeah. make you feel? It feels really good, and I feel him with me everywhere I go, but especially on that stage tonight. I know he was sitting right front and center watching me, proud of me, and that, that makes me feel real good. I think her dad is making way for her and sitting right next to me in this theater tonight. Did you get a kick out of the ironic scene? Of course. <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone in the world has had their chops busted for a malapropism as much as I had. <laughs> yeah, well, I was very proud of that scene, you know, because when I wrote the, sh when I was started writing the show, I thought we we're really going to have to acknowledge ironic because that song had gotten some backlash for the lyrics, and people said, oh, it's nothing in it is ironic, and I thought, all right, you know what, we're going to face this, 
and lean into it and, and sort of call attention to it. But did you really find it ironic or just... Oh, no. I mean, really no, 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 no. I mean, she owned up to it that none of the stuff is actually ironic. But, um, I mean, it's a great part of the show. I mean, we, we address it in the show, and it's kind of funny. That's the Just that we're, you know, life is messy and that families have really intricate systems and dynamics and that all we need to do is show up and be vulnerable to each other and connect and share what's really going on and let out, you know, all the anger and, and sadness and depression and joy that we're not allowed to feel together. Thank you for being here. I love you so much.